Hello friends and welcome to Read and Create. Our theme this week is out of this world. Out of this world means space, stars, the moon, and adventure. Unable to stop in? Visit our website at www.scottlib.org summer. That's www.scottlib.org slash s-u-m-m-e-r for a PDF printable of our activity sheets. Our early literacy practice of this week is play. Create your own space adventures. Take an old box or a couple of chairs and a blanket and turn it into a rocket ship. Where will you decide to go? What will you see? Who will go with you? What will you have for a snack? Create your own space adventures together as you build your own narrative skills. Our song this week is The Earth Turns Around. We're going to talk about rotation and orbits. So the Earth turns around once a day. The Moon turns around once a month. Technically it's 28 days, but it's a lunar month, it's a lunar calendar, is what we base our calendars on. We'll also talk about how the Earth travels around the Sun, which is a year. And we're also going to end with some stars, so feel free to make some star fingers. This is to the tune of The Farmer in the Dell. If you know it, great. If not, this is a great chance to learn the tune. Let's begin. The Earth turns around, the Earth turns around, once a day, every day, the earth turns around. The moon turns around the earth. The moon turns around the earth. Once a month, every month, the moon turns around the earth. The earth turns around the sun. The earth turns around the sun. Once a year, every year, the earth turns around the sun. The stars are all around. The stars are all around. Here and there and everywhere, the stars are all around. Our book this week is Astronaut Training, written by Anita Cruz and illustrated by Olivia Asser, and read with permission from Boyd's, Mills, and Kane. Let's read about a girl who wants to be an astronaut. Astronaut Training Astrid's dream was to be an astronaut. At playtime, she built a spaceship. At dinner time, she made astronaut food. At bath time, she practiced floating in space. At bedtime, she counted stars, but there were too many. And Astrid soon ran out of all the numbers she knew. Why aren't you sleeping, Astrid? Her father asked. I'm getting ready for my astronaut mission, she explained. You'll be an astronaut when you're big, but how about a little mission for tonight? Go to sleep. Sleep? Astrid had trained all day. She was ready to soar into space, wasn't she? She pressed her eyelids shut so tight the stars outside her window appeared. She chose the biggest one, made a wish, and... <gasps> Astrid was an astronaut. Zip! She took off into a spaceship flying far, far away until she landed on a planet where everything and everyone was big. The bigs had never seen anyone like Astrid. They were amazed and wanted to be astronauts too. At playtime, Astrid tried to show them how to build a spaceship, but their tools were too big. At dinner time, she tried to show them how to make astronaut food but their meals were too huge. At bath time, she tried to show them how to float into space, but their tub was too huge. At bedtime, Astrid and the bigs counted stars, but when they ran out of all the numbers they knew, Astrid looked around and said, this isn't right. She glanced up at the stars, chose the smallest one, and set her course. Zap! Astrid took off flying far, far away until she landed on a planet where everything and everyone was little. The littles had never seen anyone like Astrid. They were amazed and wanted to be astronauts too. 
At playtime, Astrid tried to show them how to build a spaceship, but their tools were too tiny. At dinner time, she tried to show them how to make astronaut food, but their meals were too tiny. At bath time, she tried to show them how to float in space, but their tub was too tiny. At bedtime, Astrid and the Littles counted stars, but when they ran out of all the numbers they knew, Astrid looked around and said, this isn't right. She glanced up at the stars, chose the one she knew best, and fired up her engines. Zoop! Astrid took off, flying far, far away until she landed on a planet where everything and everyone was the way she'd always known them to be. She ran to hug her father. Daddy, Daddy, Astrid cried. Last night I was an astronaut, but everything I did on my mission went wrong. Can you help me get it right? Her father nodded. At playtime, he helped Astrid build a spaceship. At dinner time, he helped Astrid make astronaut food. At bath time, he helped Astrid float. At bedtime, he and Astrid counted stars. And though her father hadn't run out of all the numbers he knew, Astrid was starting to yawn. Good night, starshine, her father whispered as he tucked her into bed. Good night, Daddy, Astrid replied. She drifted off, dreaming of all the wonderful world she would explore. After a bit more training, of course. The end. Our rhyme this week teaches us an important skill. As we learn and as we grow, we learn to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. But just as important is learning to count down backwards. Our rhyme this week takes that practice of counting backwards from ten and adds a blast off. It's also to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. So I'm going to do it first as a rhyme, and then I'll do it a second time as a song. Climb aboard the spaceship. We're going to the moon. Hurry and get ready. We're going to blast off soon. Put on your helmet and buckle in real tight. Here comes the countdown. Let's count with all our might. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off! Let's try that as a song. Climb aboard the spaceship, we're going to the moon. Hurry and get ready, we're going to blast off soon. Put on your helmet and buckle up real tight. Here comes the countdown, let's count with all our might. Ten, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off! <laughs> Great job, everyone. Today we are going to work on our activity. So if you got a read and create kit in a bag like this, you'll have a few different items in here. You'll also want to grab some scissors and some markers or crayons, as well as something to use as a sticky. I'm actually gonna use one of our stickers for this. So inside you have your activity sheet, you have a rocket ship, you have a straw and a wrapper, and you have a piece of scientific equipment called a pipette. A pipette is usually used when you squeeze the bulb and put it in liquid. It'll pull the water up into it or whatever liquid you have. And then you squeeze it again to let it out. So squeeze, push in the liquid, and release. Today we're not going to use it for that. Today we're going to use this to help propel our rocket. And today I'm going to show you how to make your rocket ship fly. So the first thing we need to do is color our rocket ship. I'm gonna just use whatever colors I want. Oh, 
Okay, I am happy with my rocket that I drew and I even drew myself getting ready to blast off. So now I'm gonna cut along the lines. And the reason why I didn't cut first is because that way the color outside the lines, I don't get it on my table. There is my rocket, but now it needs to be able to go forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my pipette so the bulb part is at the nose or the tip of my rocket. Now here's where you want some tape, but do you know what? You can also use a sticker. I'm going to use Saturn so it's extra space themed. And just wrap it around there really tight. And you know what? I think I'm gonna grab another planet. Oh, I'm gonna use a black hole. And maybe, hmm, I'm gonna grab this comet. Ooh. And go across. So once that is on there, I'm pretty secure. We're gonna wanna use our scissors and cut off the end of our pipette. Oh. And if you cut your rocket too, that's okay. That's what tape is for, or stickers. Now what we have is our straw. Now what we wanna do is slide our straw into the pipette because this creates a chamber so the air that we release when we take a breath out and go, it will help launch our ship. So let's practice a countdown. I'm just gonna do five. Five, four, three, two, one. And in my mind, instead of flying out like that, it'll fly up, 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 and away. 